Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Furman Paladins Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. And if you ain't already a part of the MG fam, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, just to know when these videos will be dropping. So you can see we are already in the conference championship week, and the Furman Paladins have won another conference championship. The Sun Belt is the Paladins, man. We're going to continue to run through this conference until we can build it up to at least a Power Fives type of school. Now it's time to get on to the conference standings. Let's check out what went on in the Sun Belt. Give you guys an overview of what a successful season we had. So number one, you already know the Furman Paladins. 10 and two on the season. A double digit winning season is always great. And you can see second place was Louisiana, Appalachian State coming in third, Ark State in fourth, Georgia Southern in fifth, and South Alabama sitting there. And Troy, a seven win team, may not make it to the bowl season. And Texas State, six and six, they probably won't get in there. So I think we can get at least four of these teams into bowl season, but a lot of teams are going to miss out. So now it's time to check out the season stats for the players in the Sun Belt. Robbie Clark, man, the leading passer in the Sun Belt with 2,800 yards. And the leading touchdown, guys, Blake McDaniel from Arkansas State. But a key guy everybody needs to watch out for is the freshman, Cedric Smith from Georgia Southern, man. He had a pretty good season for a freshman, 19 TDs and 15 interceptions. And he was going up against a lot of great defenses in the Sun Belt, which gets slept on by the nation. So on the running game, we really had a running back committee going on. So Palmer was able to tote the tater for like 120 times. Not a lot of yards, but nine TDs, he was able to get the ball in the end zone, in the red zone a lot. But Rogers, the freshman from App State, 15 TDs, 1,100 yards. And that was some beautiful, beautiful running from him. We played against him one time. We could see the potential star power that he has. And the receivers, my boy Tuttons, yo, almost eclipsed 1,000 yards in 12 games. But I believe he will go over the 1,000-yard mark in this bowl game coming up. And a lot of guys behind him played pretty well, too. So having the top receiver in the conference is always a good thing. You got to spread the ball out. But look at the guy Thomas Jenkins from Texas State, they doing their thing too. A big tight end able to get things going like that. It's always necessary. And now let's check out the defensive side of the ball. The most tackles for loss came from my boy Rice. He has the most sacks, 12 in the conference. And Curtis right there not having a great season like he did last year, but eight sacks from anyone is wonderful. You had a lot of players on other teams. Nobody else eclipsed a double digit sack season. Only Rice from Furman, man. Our defensive line stepped up a lot this year. So Anthony Chase leads the conference in interceptions. Man, I remember recruiting for this guy. I know he was going to be kind of a stud, but not too many interceptions for other guys either. So the Heisman winner of this year is Asa Martin from Auburn. Hey, he won this Heisman by a landslide. Almost 700 points difference from the second place winner in C. Davis. He had a pretty nice season, 1,758 yards on the ground, 23 TDs, and 20 receptions almost, and 256 yards receiving, not much in the air, but anybody that can tote the tater like that deserves a Heisman. So as you guys know, we got accepted again to the New Orleans Bowl, man. I'm trying to get into a BCS next year or something. We're gonna be an at-large team. We're going up against a familiar foe in Rice, a team that we're kind of comfortable playing against. We're going to be able to take their heads off this year. Man, I don't think they stand a chance. Now, let's check out the All-American, see what we got going on. So, my boy, Sebastian Rice, man. You know he was a first-team All-American. And down below him is Sawyer, the junior transfer kid. He's an All-American. So, it's two All-Americans on the first team. It's pretty good for a Furman team that has been getting overlooked all season. And on the second team, you have a few great guys around the nation doing their thing. And on the second team, we do have my boy Patton, bro. Patton did his thing also. He was a monster last year, and he was pretty good this year also. You can see Gerald Brown is there, baby, doing his thing. So the freshman All-Americans, you already know that guy, Cedric Smith with Georgia Southern, took the quarterback spot. I believe we probably got some defensive players. Look at McCutcheon, man. His first year in the NCAA, he was able to, you know, step in immediately and make an impact. Now let's talk about the national championship game. Texas Longhorns versus Auburn. Auburn had a lot of tests this year in the SEC, but look at Kurt Herbstreit. He says the Texas Longhorns will win this. On paper, Texas beat these guys statistically in every category except the rushing offense. 
and they may take them in this game, man. But I think Auburn, playing teams like Alabama, Georgia, LSU all year long, and actually kind of running through everyone. And Texas, I don't think anyone had a chance. Only TCU back in October probably had a chance on beating those guys. And Gatewood, the quarterback from Auburn, only 2,500 yards, but they put that ball on the ground, man. Awesome Martin, the Heisman winner, he's on the ground all day long trying to get at least 250. The last game against Georgia, he had 274 yards, man. And Rising, the quarterback from Texas, 38 TDs in the air, three interceptions. This dude has been a touchdown machine. And Ingram out the backfield able to get 1,000 yards too. And they played one less game than Auburn. So this team might be a little more fresh and might be able to take Auburn to the ropes. And now on to our bowl game versus Rice, man. We took care of all these guys in each category itself from total offense and rush offense. But we're going to get to it, baby. Kurt Herbstreit has called this team for victory. And he picked them. So we're going to upset this squad. And I think we're ready, baby. Hi, Coming everybody. up next, Reese we're ready Davis to get on the money. Bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When you hit the Crescent City, they are So you can see the offensive ranks. Our pass offense is in the top 20, but our rush offense is dead last. And they have one of the top rush offenses in the nation. So we are kind of polar opposites. But the rushing touchdowns, we're both top 25. Because when we get in that red zone, you know what time it is, baby. And it's time for kickoff. Let's get to it. You can see the smoke haze in the air. And the Furman Palace are looking to get another victory in the bowl season. And kickoff is here, and it's up, baby. My boy G. Brown back there is going to pull it out. He's going to just sit on it, baby, and it's time to get to it. Coming out on our first drive, man, we're going to try to get this ball in the air. Robbie is up on the center. Call it audibles early. So we're going to let my boy Palmer go up the gut. Find a little bit of room. And, hey, a nice seven-yard rush to start the game. So we're going to hit him in the mouth with it again. Only three down linemen, man. We're going to test your front. And the first down is there. Two plays. And the first down is how we doing it. We're going to continue to keep the ball on the ground. And Palmer found a little bit of room. Only five yards, maybe. But that's enough for us, baby. Now it's time to put it in the air. Let's see what these guys are about. Robbie drops back. And he's got the pressure in front of him, but he gets rid of it, man. We got to protect the quarterback here. So third and five, can we continue to keep this drive going? And he does find Tuttons over there. Yeah, nice Saved there. us 13 yard reception. Let's go with it, baby. So up the gut, Palmer breaks a tackle. He gets hit, three yards rush. We gotta be able to protect him, man. Let's see what my boy Brown can do back here. Ooh, look at the wiggle room. He found it, baby. And Brown maybe see a lot of action on the ground today. Let's see if we can keep something going here. And Robbie finds Tuttons, man. Tuttons is finally feeling it here early in the game. A little audible there. See if we can get Brown in motion to tight end. Pick up that block on the outside. Hands it out to Palmer. Palmer found some room. Oh, man, he got tail from behind. So up the gut again, man. We are beating these guys on the ground. They can't stand with us and look at Palmer. Found some room and a big 11-yard rush there. Got us first and goal. So we're going to trick them here. We know they're coming with the pressure. And Robbie. Oh, man, got to get rid of this one. Throws it out of the back of the end zone and saves us. Second and goal. So we're going to do a little speed option here. Robbie keeps it. No, he pitches it to Brown. And we got tackled in the backfield. We got to be able to get some scores of points, man. Can we get a touchdown here? Got into the backfield and made the play. And Robbie rolls out. And and oh, man, they're standing coming, and he takes a sack. He hey, what else could you ask for the kid? If he would have thrown it up in the coverage, could have been an interception. So it looked like we're going to leave with three points here, and it's good. So we're able to get on the board on our first drive, but now it's time to play defense. And Chambers dropped back. The quarterback from Rice launches this one. And almost an interception on the first play for these guys. not playing wide receiver because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Up on the center, he hands it off to Harris. Nice block on the edge, but my boy saw you able to get him. Knock him out, baby. Let's get it. So we're going to do a little cover three here. 36, can we get the ball back? Chambers drop back. Finds a guy. He runs out of bounds. So here at the top of the second quarter, we're threatening to score again. Palmer on a little bit of wiggle room. Four yards It's pretty good for us. Robbie drops back here on second down. 
finds Brown there. Very good patience. Able to locate your open receiver and get a first down. And Robbie finds Tuttons. Is this a touchdown? Yes, sir. Our first score of the game. Robbie and Tuttons, that connection is unstoppable. These guys actually have one more year together, and I think next year is going to be through the roof for these guys. Maybe Tuttons can get at least 15 touchdowns, and Robbie may go for 30, 30 scores next year. So on their next drive, a little motion going here. Let's see what they got. He's sending some pressure. Chambers launches that one, finds Ford. The big tight end able to get him eight yards. So cover three. We're going to send some pressure off the edge. Can we get some disruption down here? And Harris gets the first down, breaks the tackle. And he finds a little bit of extra room. And he got 15 yards on that one. We got to be able to tackle on first contact. Up on the center, Chambers. Gives it to Harris again. We're on top of him that time, baby. So only man coverage on the outside there. We got to press. Get some disruption up front. He tosses this one. Oh, man, he found in some room. And we push him out of bounds there, but not before 11-yard rush. So 32, can we get a stop? Williams found some room up the middle. Four yards rush. Can we get a stop defense? Come on, we're giving up too many yards. Easy first downs. And he hands off the Williams again. They're trying our front seven. We got to be able to stop them. Get some more pressure up front. Got to push them boys off the line. There we go. A little pressure. Harris runs over a tackle. And McCutcheon ain't able to take him down. But we got to be able to do something, bro. Come on. A little motion from Jones. Draws back. And he found Jones. Three guys in the vicinity. We got to be able to stop that one. Put your hands up. Bat it down. Or something. Look at the big tight end in motion here. First and 10. Four minutes and 30 seconds left. Look at Chambers. He On a little bit of room. Two yards is better than getting sacked. So we got that pressure off the edge this time. Gerald Brown, can you get in the backfield for us, bro? And it's a draw. He hands it off to Harris. But my boy Gerald Brown able to stop him before he can get more than two yards. And a little false start there. Better be. On the offensive line, push these guys back. Yes, sir. It's a false start. They're frustrated. They about to fold under pressure. Third and 11. Chambers drop back. Oh, he throws it up. Almost an interception there, man. Somebody got to pull it down. So a field goal. Can we block one? Can we stop him from scoring? It's up. Almost short, but he gets it through the uprights. So here with three minutes left in the second quarter, man. We got to be able to stop these guys. Come on, Jerry. Pull it out of the end zone. Give us something. All right. Cuts it to the edge. And, man, can he get busy? I don't think anybody's catching Gerald Brown, baby. Gerald looking like he's going to go all the way. He's at the 25, the 15, the 5. Touchdown, baby. 102 yards on that return. Gerald Brown, the kick returner of the year, able to get a score there to put us up by 14 points. So here on their next drive, they're giving it to Harris, man. How are we getting killed in the trenches like that, man? We're going to start stunting. And Harris breaks another one, going all the way with it. Look at him, making our defense look crazy up front. In motion, the fullback gives it to Wim. They're not scared of us, but Kobe able to make a big tackle. They're only one yard on that carry. So we're going to blitz our safety off the edge. He's steady handing it off, and we're there on the D. So Chambers dropped back. Nice protection. And oh, by himself out there, Jones, if you could have stayed up, that would have been a touchdown. Kind of scary. But we're there on defense now, baby. And look at that tackle from McCutcheon. Blew him back, bro. Threw him all the way back. And Harris gets blowed up there. Easy tackle for us. 36. Make these guys live what they're talking about. And Chambers gets sacked on the edge by who else? Noah Curtis took care of that one. And they're going to kick another field goal. And that one is good. So we're only up by 11. And that half time, 17 to 6. We got somewhat control of this game. We're just going to have to take off in the second half. So we're going to fast forward to late in the third quarter with 2 minutes and 55 seconds left. Defenses have been standing tall. And the offense, you can see, is still having a hard time getting the ball past the first down line. And Robbie. Those one. Tutton's got it. Big catch there. 24 yards. Finally some progress here in the second half. A little re-option here. And Robbie's going to keep it here. Kicks it to the edge. Nice blocking to seal the edge. 
And my boy Robbie is running out of gas and not able to get to the end zone. But a big, big first down for us. Well, it's first and goal, baby. And Robbie finds Brown there for your TD reception easily. Finally, a score in the second half, and it comes from my boy Robbie Clark to Brown. The old school connection, baby. So you can see the defense is doing their thing, man. Only 154 yards here, almost through three quarters, four sacks. We're going to start bringing the pain a little bit more. All right, so we dare. Harris not able to go anywhere. Big stop from Rice. Nice little spin off that one, and he throws that one away. He felt that pressure immediately. Third and ten. Chambers drop back. Got him in across the middle, but he's scared, baby. He was scared. He was scared to hold on to that one, baby. So that's a three and out. Let's get back to it. So they're going to be bringing some pressure from the safety position. And look at Palmer. Find a little bit of room. Four yards. We'll take that. So we got Gerald Brown back there. Read option. And he gets hit in the backfield. A big hit from him. I hope he's okay. 50 seconds left. Look at Robbie. Drops back. He feels the pressure. Launches that one to Brown. Boy, he sat in that pocket just long enough to get that one to him. After that big play, we're going to come with a play action, baby. And look at Robbie. Launches that one. And Tutton's right there on the money. Drop it in his bread basket. 37 yard touchdown reception, baby. This game is out of reach. We're up by 24 with that extra point. It will make it. 25, baby. That's four scores. Four scores for this team. So you're going to come out in the top of the fourth quarter. Eight minutes left. Chambers fake the pass. Launches that one to Roach. He pulled that one in that time. And he goes down for a 12 yard reception. Chambers drop back again. Get sacked, baby, and that's Patton getting another sack. Big time year for this kid. Chambers drop back again. Launches that one way out of bounds. Third and 14 here. All or nothing. And oh, he fakes us as a fumble, or is that a pass? He faked me out. But we got it, baby. Four for 14 is over. So we're going with all goals, baby. See what we got. Robbie. We're going to get rid of that one, but he takes a sack. Second and 25. Come on, Robbie. You got to throw those passes away. And Bush gets a face mask at least. Can we get something? Nothing is there. So third and 22. We might just run it here. And Gerald Brown breaks the tackle. Oh, runs into his block, but he's out to the edge, baby. Can we get a block? Nice block there. And Gerald Brown is off to the races once again. And did he have a 102-yard kick return and an 86-yard rushing TD? What more can you ask on this kid, bro? You know he's going to be the player of the game. This is almost like a coming out game. I know this kid was special, and he breaks the record from the ECU guy, the Fetty. And that's a big-time run, baby. 86 yards after breaking, like, two tackles. And going to the house. Big time play. Running to his own block also. So out here with six minutes left, man. All they can do is just try to run the clock out. And Chambers launches that one. And Roach is catching passes across the middle. Ten yards on that one. Chambers not looking like the impact player that he is. He finds something on the edge. And a first down, I guess. I guess all he can do is salvage the stats. And do what he can do to make himself look good. He goes out again, so finally he's taking control of his own hands and fumbles the ball, and big man rolls out of bounds, second and six here. So he's going to continue to try to scramble out of the pocket, I guess. Fakes that one, finds Cook, and we're on the tackle there, so first and ten, I thought it was third and one. So they can have it here. They may be trying to score something here, trying to bring themselves back in their mind because there's nothing there. Look at Roach, steady pulling them down. Can we stop that young fella? And Chambers drops back again. Launches that one. Finds forward. And that's a seven-yard reception. So we may just bring in the second team defense. These guys are looking tired out here. And Cook pulls down another first down. And Chambers drops back. Finds Wilms. Oh, nice little screen play. Nice chop block. And he goes into the end zone after breaking a tackle on a 20-yard TD reception. I guess it's something you can celebrate. You gotta give each of these guys we had a block there, one. You can see Sanchez missed that one. Curtis 
Got chop. Nice block there. I like that. And he breaks my boy Gerald Brown tackle. Gerald said, I can't do everything. So these guys are going to come back with a onside kick. Four minutes left. They're not giving up, I guess. Hey, it's the bowl season. All or nothing. Do what you got to do. And can anybody get it? We allow these ghouls to pick up the kickoff return, bro. Come on, man. The hands team got to be better than that. And Chambers finds Roach. The same play that running those little hitch routes and finding him in those soft spots of our secondary. Chambers drops back again. Gets a sack. And Patton with another big sack. And he's out here showing off. Chambers drops back. And is that a sack? He's yes, sir. Another sack. This is four of seven. What these guys are going to do? Probably put it in the air. Man, let us get an interception or something. Chambers get sack again. And my boy Noah Curtis is on the sack that time, baby. So now Robbie is in here with two minutes and 52 seconds left. Holds it. And goes down. And I believe that's a face mask. And look at Hawkins. Haven't seen too much of him this year. Let's see what he can do off the edge. We got the second team offense in here right now, baby. So Hawkins gets blowed up in the backfield. Hey, second and 14. So we're going to give him another shot at it up between the gut. Gets to the edge and gets knocked out. Third and 16. So we're going to go with a pass here on third down. We got Boyd out there. He's looking across the middle. And he finds Day. And they pulls down a 13-yard grab, but it's only four for three, so we're going to kick a field goal. And that field goal is up, and it's good. 41 to 13, baby. What more can you ask for? The defense handled their business today. That front four went crazy. Noah on top of guys. I believe that kid got like three or four sacks. Coach McGruff out here is happy, man. About to put another bowl victory on his belt. So check out Noah. Three sacks, three tackles for loss, and six total tackles, baby. Let's get it. So one minute left here. See what else is going on. Chambers drops back. Launches that one. And Morris, Mr. Kirk, who you guys will see a lot of next year, pulls down an interception. And he's a big, big cornerback. He will be a senior. And that is our 20th turnover of the season. I'm looking forward to this kid right here. He's going to be a nightmare for a lot of receivers and quarterbacks next year. Keep your eyes on number 36. He's going to go crazy. And that's it, guys. We won another bowl game. Hopefully next year we don't have to play in the New Orleans Bowl again. Hopefully it's in a BCS game. Hopefully it's a championship game. And you know how Coach McGrath does. Once he wins a championship, he moves on, baby. There's no need to sit over and beat down story teams. And we're going to get it. And I appreciate you guys for riding along with us in Season 5. So Season 6 is going to be a lot of expectations from this team. We got a lot of talent here. We got great coaching, and we're going to be looking to take this thing to the next level. We got one of the best players, I will say, in Furman history, still playing the Juco kid, Gerald Brown. You can see the player of the game, 245 all-purpose yards, two TDs. This kid is a Juco player. His first year in the NCAA, and he's showing out. Next year, he's going to be all over the field, wide receiver, running back, maybe a little quarterback. And in the secondary, as you know. So let's check out the stats here, baby. Robbie Clark, pretty good game. Only 143 yards. He didn't need to put the ball in the air that much. 18 attempts, three TDs, no interceptions. Maybe what we need from him next year with all of this star power around him. And Palmer, 11 touches, 44 yards. Not much, but we're going to have to turn into more of a running team next year. And, you know, mix it up. It's more 70-30 now. We want to make it 60-40 are 55 45 meaning passing and running and gerald brown four rush attempts and 97 yards this dude is one play away from breaking it you can tell out of the backfield put him at wide out he can do whatever he want and in the secondary he's no joke either and tuttons 100 yards a game is nothing to this kid five receptions 107 two tds <laughs> next year he's going to be unstoppable and on the defensive side, a freshman, All-American, McCutcheon, nine tackles, all solo. No tackles for loss, but he did his thing. 
Three sacks for my boy Noah Curtis. We're gonna miss this kid, the fifth year senior. He did his thing, he broke the record last year for the most sacks in the season. And Patton, another senior. We're gonna miss this kid from something South Carolina. Two sacks. We're gonna lose a lot of guys on defense, so our defense may not be as great next year, but this offense will be unstoppable. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button, that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel also. And holla at your boy Coach McGruff, man. Next video will be about the offseason. Then on from there, maybe the championship season six, baby. Holla at your boy. Let's get it.